guys, this is Zombie Lover, and I'm just going to do a quick. Uh, it's more the more than a than a review. It's more of a a look at, and this is just a couple of my uh, Leatherface figures. Now this guy is the Leatherface uh, nine inch stylized uh, roto body cast uh, by uh, Mezco Cinema of Fear and. Yes, it is kind of goofy, but these stylized figures are meant to be like that. I've actually got two stylized figures. I've got this, uh, the Leatherface, and I've got Jason Voorhees, which I still have in his box. And he might stay there, I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. But other than I'm not really going to review this, just going to show you a few of my Leatherface figures. Uh, his whole outfit is just, it's all real cloth, which I think is a lovely addition. Um, he's very pudgy and hunchbacky, you know, he's a bit, you know, they've uh, exaggerate, exaggerated the largeness of this leather face, you know, I know it's, it is meant to be Gunnar Hansen from the original part one, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I don't think Gunnar was that fat, you know, tall guy, big guy, but they kind of exaggerated that a bit, but it's a cool figure to have, I'm glad I have it. Anyway, so that's him, I'll just put him to the side here, I'm just going to bring up this guy. This here is Leatherface from part one, the end scene when he's chasing Sally from the house. And uh, this is by uh, NECA called Classics. And I love this figure. You know, I think it just looks exactly. They get it down to such detail. Like he actually has his watch on there, which is mad. I think that's brilliant. Um, yet again, with cult classics with NECA, the articulation is very limited. His arms do move, you can see there a bit. You know, I'm not going to start putting around them. His head moves, obviously. No uh, articulation in the in the legs whatsoever. Comes with this nice wee base. With a wee, I think, it's an armadillo. Armadillo! I think so, anyway. Um, yeah, so you can just keep him there, lying beside Leatherface. But, uh, the detail in the chainsaw too, excellent work there and just one more thing I was going to say, oh yeah when you get this guy, I don't know if you can still get him out there, I got this guy oh, a good few years back but uh, if you can still get this guy just watch, he comes in the box and he's in a twisted kind of weird position, he's kind of you know he's twisted this way and his legs are all crooked and when I took him out of the box for about a month I just did not want to twist his waist and then I seen a lot of videos and they had him running in this kind of position which should be, it's kind of the movie position and I was kind of annoyed because I had him twisted over this way with the chainsaw this way and it looked kind of just looking naff looking so just one day I just bit the bullet and I turned his waist and just hope he didn't snap in half but he didn't so just so you know he does turn at the waist if you do ever get him but it can be you know typical NECA the joints sometimes are very stiff which can lead you to think oh my god I'm gonna break this but a lot of the time uh, I think they can take the the abuse a lot of the time but anyway, that's just a quick wee look at him we'll put him beside uh, the other guy there, and this is the other one I'm going to review, and he'll probably not stand up. Oh, I did get him to stand. And this is Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, which is pretty cool. And this is by uh, Mezco Cinema of Fear. And um, look at the length of that chainsaw, <laughs> unreal. But anyway, yet again, there's a bit more. He's got actually his legs do. He's got we swivel joints here in the legs, so his legs do move, and he's got all these. You can see the wee joints here, and his head moves and everything. So there's a lot more articulation in this guy than there is in that guy. But uh, that's him from behind. I don't know if you can see the, the blood on his jacket there. It's pretty cool. It's actually all down there where the yeah you can see it up in there too. All the blood in there. And oh yeah, just to say these, they always come with these wee kind of rubber affected. Uh, ties, which I think is a nice wee addition. His jacket is actually a bit rubbery too there, you know, the, this part here is kind of like a rubber. And I think his is too, probably. Yes, it is. Oh, he nearly went. And that's just three of my uh, Leatherface figures there. I've got another, I've got, a le I've got a bust of this guy. A Leatherface bust by Gentle Giant. I might put another video of that up. I think I might have removed it because just the quality is so bad. And I have... A figure of the remake Leatherface by McFarlane and I might show them sometime but that's just for now that's them three guys hope you like them this is Zombie Lover signing out bye bye